Okay. So we're going to do one more simplification problem, and we're going to I'm going to show you how that one works out. So I'm going to give you this function. We're going to find the limit as x approaches zero <coughs> of one over x plus four minus one fourth over x. Okay. So this one's not as complicated because there's not as many fractions, but we do have an x plus 4 in the de uh, denominator of the fraction up here. So this is problem B. So first of all, do direct substitution. I am not going to plug those in because what you're going to find is it's going to be 0 over 0. So I just would like to start the process of simplifying this. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to do the 1 over x plus 4. I know I'm going to have to multiply this times something. And then I'm going to subtract 1 fourth. But I need to multiply this one by something so I can get a common denominator. So the second fraction is going to be multiplied by x plus 4 over x plus 4. And the first fraction is going to be multiplied by 4 over 4. So let's do that math. And remember, it's still all over x. So let's do the math in the numerator. It's going to be 4 over, and do not multiply this out. Just do 4 times x plus 4. Carry the parentheses around. And then minus x plus 4 over 4 times x plus 4. And don't forget, it's still over x. Now, we need to continue our simplification process. Simplification oftentimes takes the most time. So you need to combine everything in the top part of the numerator. So please remember that you have up here, it's 4 minus this whole quantity. So it's going to be minus x plus 4. Okay, it, you need to keep that in parentheses. Okay, over 4 times x plus 4. And then that's the numerator all over x. So let's keep simplifying this. The reason you have to keep that as negative quantity x plus 4, you need to remember the negative needs to be distributed to both parts of that fraction, okay, that x plus 4 part. So you end up with 4 minus x minus 4 over 4 x plus 4. And remember, it's all over x. You are going to be working with large fractions so you need to keep everything squared in your head, what's where. So take a look what happens. 4 minus 4, so you end up with negative x over 4 times x plus 4, all over x. Now, some of you might feel more comfortable if you called it x over 1, because you're probably used to, at this point, taking the denominator and flipping it. And sometimes people will forget that x over 1 and flipping it and forgetting that there's still a 1 there. So let's do that and let's flip. So we have negative x over 4 times x plus 4. And then we have to multiply it by the fraction that's flipped. It's going to be 1 over x. Look what happens. These now cancel out. So now let's do a direct substitution. So let's find the limit as x approaches 0 of what's left. 1 over 4 times x plus 4. I think when we go about doing this, I think we're going to get an actual answer. Okay, so using direct substitution, plug 0 in for all the x's, and we're going to get 1 over 4 times 0 plus 4. Okay, well, 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So your final answer is 1 16th. So what is the limit? The limit is 1 16th for this problem. 
So these are the things you have to remember when you are doing simplification. It's a lot of finding the common denominators and simplifying fractions. So I hope that this helped you out. I hope that you kind of can see what you have to do with these. But these are your three techniques that you are going to use to simplify and find limits when you have the indeterminate form. So hope you have a good day. And I will, when I see you in class next, we'll work on some of these problems.